Hey guys, now let's start our new topic that is circuit breaker compartment. The circuit breaker compartment houses the bushing insulators containing fixed contacts for the connections of switching operators to the bus bar and the cable compartment. The bushings are single pole type and are made of castration. They are covered by metallic shutters the metallic shutters operates automatically during movement of switching operators from test position rack out to the service position that's called rack in and vice versa shutters may be looked locked if required the position of switching operators can be seen from the front of the panel through an inspection window. So circuit breaker compartments, uh, what other thing you can find here, the detail about the compartment, it should contain a rating plate, contact pole, vacuum interrupter, a truck, mechanical interlock for truck operation, operation for racking the switching device truck, fixing lever to lock the truck in panel. Here truck can be replaced with a drum trolley which is mostly used in UK standard. Front plate of 3AH5 circuit breaker, low voltage plug connector so here we can see the circuit breaker trolley that's that's we are calling here as a truck and different components of the trolley we can see okay Here you can see circuit breaker. This is the circuit breaker and different parts of the circuit breaker are mentioned here. Like this number one is auxiliary switch S1. These are basically the replication contact of the breaker. Two is an on push button. There is two. Here is two. If you press this one, breaker will be on. 3 will be the off push button so if you press this red color button then the breaker will become off 4 is switch position indicator this is number 4 and this is showing the position of the breaker either it's open or close first shunt release Y2 5 this is first shunt release and uh, you can say this is the tripping coil also the first tripping coil operating short for vacuum interrupter number six this is number six and this is the operating rod here you can see and uh, it is driving the vacuum uh, interrupter unit opening or closing the breaker then you can see closing coil Y9 at number 7 this is the closing coil then closing spring charge not charge indicator at number 8 here you can see this is the indicator that is marking here the spring is charged or not that number 9 you can see operating cycle counter this is the counter which is showing how many times the breaker is operated Number 10 is a closing spring. This spring, this is basically the example of a closing spring of the circuit breaker. Number 11 is position switch. This is the number 11 and this is the position switch basically. Number 10 is closing spring, 11 is position switch. 12 is gear for changing the closing spring manually. This is the gear if for example motor is failed or there is no supply and you want to close the breaker so you can 
charge is spring through this if you put lever here and then you can operate the breaker then you have rating plate at number 13 this is the rating plate of the mc of the breaker so this is the introduction about the circuit breaker so thank you very much